happening here on the ground. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Alexis. I want to get right to our Fox News contributor and George Washington Law Professor Jonathan Turley on this rapid expansion of Canadian government <laughs> powers. Dying to know what you thought of it, Jonathan. Hello. Well, I thought it was, hello, and I thought it was quite excessive. This is an act of civil disobedience. Uh, that is a standard tech tactic of uh, groups going back to the civil rights movement even earlier to block uh, bridges and streets, uh, to do what was referred to as, quote, good trouble. And so the, the troubling aspect of what is coming out of the prime minister's office is that by this rationale, they could have cracked down on the civil rights movement. They could have arrested Martin Luther King. I mean, I think that the office needs to dial down not just in this rhetoric, but it, the means that it is using. By freezing this money, what the government is doing is preventing other people from supporting a protest. These are Canadian citizens who have gone to their capital to engage in an act of civil disobedience. The government can clear the roads. They can arrest people who are blocking the roads. But they have gone to an extent here that treats these protesters as if they were terrorists. He's doing this. Uh, uh, apparently in a bid to end the protest, but it only seems to be building their case, Jonathan. 